There's there's shuffling up here, Chris. They're shuffling up. They're shuffling up here. Is there any really powerful spirits here that can really make a a bang or a noise or? Hey guys, welcome back to Ashes to Ashes. Um, um, thanks for being here once again. If you're new here, hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. Today, this evening, we are in Joggins, Nova Scotia. And as you can see behind us, there's a graveyard. Uh, don't know much about this graveyard, but it's actually not what we're filming. What we're filming is over there. And we don't have a lot of history on it. But uh, we're going to do it anyway, just because that's what we do. Have a look at this. That place way down there. So, yeah. Uh, let's do this. So, guys, we are here at this place now. We do have permission to be here. Um, it was a guy from the United States actually has a house here and we were talking to him, great guy. We told him what we did. He didn't mind at all, so we do have permission to be here. I'm not sure how long of a video it's going to be yet, because you'll see inside it's pretty much gutted. So there's not a whole lot to see, but you know us here, we're here to see if there's any spirits and to uh, show you guys these old places. So let's go. And we are right on the Bay of Funday, guys, here, too. Before we go inside, just wanted to show you guys the Bay of Funday. Beautiful, beautiful spot. All water down there. Obviously, it's a bay. <laughs> a couple other other buildings on the property. If we get time, we'll go take a peek in those. I do know there used to be horses here. Um, I don't know much other than that, except... Uh, I do know the people who owned it years ago, I just don't want to drop any names, but the, the uh, guy from from uh, the states that has it now, he's owned this property since uh, 1987, so it's a pretty old place. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty rickety, that all the way around the edge is strong. That's the only sore spot that I've seen. Like I was literally walking around this whole edge like there was, like I wasn't even taking my time. Huh. That's good and strong. Even this, I walked on that to make sure there wasn't anything. I'm gonna turn my flashlight on though, just to give a little bit of light. 
<coughs> yeah, old farmhouse. And another one. It's still modernized somewhat, so it's still steel. Oh, yeah, galvanized too. I don't know what it is with us finding these farmhouses. Seems to be a trend. So we'll have a quick look around. First, we'll have a quick look around first and uh, before we get into asking anything, see if anything still remains here. And as you guys see, it is a daytime investigation, the very first one since our very first video. And uh, I know a couple of you guys had asked about having uh, another daytime one, so what better place? There is an upstairs, guys, and we will go up. There's also a basement, but I don't think it's accessible. I will uh, see if I can shine my camera down there. Yeah, that's the one place over there I won't look. Um, might be able to see down there. It is very... Uh, <coughs> The old true, the old true lumber, not the stuff that they cut up today. I saw the friggin' the bark on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> on yeah. this side, yeah. saw all the bark on it. Almost looks like it was uh, originally. These are fairly new drywall nails. Yeah. So we'll show you guys some of the view from the wood ahead back in the day. There's a view of the bay. Very beautiful. And this the Bay of Funday is an actual uh, tourist attraction for a lot of people in Canada and out. So if you ever have a chance to come up here you will not be disappointed. Great fishing. I heard what sounded like a couple of uh, hornets or something in that window, so I'm not going <laughs> to... There's a spider nest here. Yeah, you know, I'm steering clear of the boat from that window. Like tracers. Huh? Tracers. You're seeing them already? Yeah. Just quickly, like just over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see them. Same thing that we were seeing over that. Yeah. Door. Right there, I just went back and back. I don't know if my camera was up high enough. I just shot this way and then that way. Just a couple of them. <coughs> Haven't seen those since the fort. That's weird too, just on the bay too. Yeah. So we're seeing these tracers again, guys. Like, uh, um, like little balls of light that are shooting right fast in different directions. I caught one on the last video. Something that I, we were seeing on the, on the steps of that last video. So, there is an upstairs. We'll take you up there before we uh, start the actual investigation. And it is solid up there. I just hope there's nothing up there looking back at me, so mm -hmm. I'll, I'll go look first. The light. Oh, there's all kinds up here. Yeah, there's. Just to show everybody that there's nobody up here but us. Now, you do have to watch where you're walking, Chris, because there's holes. You don't even have to come up here if you don't want to. If you want to play it safe. I never walked. I never <laughs> lose my damn mind. <laughs> <coughs> now you shine that light over there and it come down through. Oh, really? <laughs> you on the oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. You get 
kind of like a funhouse effect up here, though. Yeah, that probably wouldn't be good for me. That's okay. Even if you see, them steps are good and solid if you want to just stay on the steps. Yeah. As far as whenever you're, wherever you're comfortable. Now, right there. Hot on these I know. It's warm up here. My feet are even hot on these right there is downstairs where it's weak downstairs, so that's going to be one spot right here. But I do not tread just in case the support is gone. I didn't bring my big light tonight guys because um, one it's daytime and where there's not many walls we wanted to keep it a little creepy for you guys so we just uh, just brought the flashlight instead if it gets dark enough we will turn on the we will hit the shadows You want to start uh, yeah. before you do that. Hold on. Before we use the app, I'm just going to ask some some uh, hot questions just to see. So, if there's anybody here, any spirits or anybody. Uh, that may have passed or still stuck around. My name is Dave and that's my brother Chris over there. And <laughs> we, uh, what we do is we try to communicate with spirits and uh, try to help prove your guys' existence. So if you would like to help us do that and communicate with us, that would be amazing. So if there is anything in this house, could you make a noise? Anything at all? A bang would be good, but if not, a shuffle or move something? Okay, I don't know how fresh those are, but those look like lost mess. Where? Oh, yeah. They're only small. I just want to make sure, yeah, there's some up there, <coughs> some there. There's an old one. Oh, there was a fire here. Auto inputs. Oh my gosh, that scares me every time. Oh, every time. Yeah, there was definitely a fire here. Chris is going to go downstairs and ask some questions. <coughs> He's right there, so you guys can see. Chris has a device that will allow you to talk through, if you can, to manipulate the sounds on the app or that device to come through as English. If you can, uh, it just come through and said stairway. Stairway? <clears throat> yeah. You can crank that if you want, Chris, or if it's up over. My phone might have to be turned up, too. That gets pretty loud. So, so you can communicate to my brother down there through that device. my light. Hey, Jeff. I'm just going to walk around a bit while you I'll come down. Is there anybody here? 
That just stopped talking? Yep. It's weird. Ooh. Ooh. There's one bad board. There are a lot of mini wasp nests, guys, you can see. All over the place. Can you say my name? My name is Chris. from guys there. Very dangerous. Up here. <laughs> Is it? Alive or dead? No, alive. Oh. If anybody here that would like to talk, you can come through this device and treat what is your name? Silence. You can show us any form of communication you want. That device is one that we use a lot. So if you can manipulate that device to tell us what you want to say. Or you can tell me in my ear, you can make a noise. They're shuffling up here, Chris. They're shuffling up. They're shuffling up here. And that almost sound like it's in that dirt. What? That's two at once. That's messed up. I'm just going to make my way over here to see if there's any actual prints. So I heard, I heard shuffling. Almost sound like it was through this. Some of this dirt or something. Kick up some of that dirt. I'm pretty sure I heard you. Could you kick up some of that dirt? cuts as possible in this. Um, we, apolog we apologize because there's not a whole lot to see. But that doesn't mean that there's, a, there's not something here. It doesn't mean that there's, a, there's not something here. I heard that like a little girl. Yeah. Yep. Chris just asked to say my name. I had a little girl said, Dave, clear as a bell. I'm going to, let's go down where he's at. Oh. Are you upstairs? Someone say leave them or leave yeah, it. Yeah, it's not going to. Is that 
staying here at the house so you can watch the ocean? I'm going to go that way. So I'm going to point that speaker in that direction. Yeah. That's the top, right? Yeah. Okay. piece of wood or anything to let us know that you're here with us. I wish there was a way downstairs. But I think the only way out is to jump in that gully that's out there. And I looked and there doesn't look like an easy way up. It's climb. So I'm not gonna bother. Because I wouldn't went down probably. My name is Chris, can you say it again? Yeah, I think there's definitely a mist in that window, on the other side of that window. Oh, up in there. Do you enjoy us being here at your house? What caused the fire upstairs? What caused the fire upstairs? I can take away the echo and see if any of the words come through a little clearer. Yeah. So we had the reverb on, guys, and we just took it off to see if the words come through any clearer. <coughs> So what, who was the what was the fa what was the family that lived here? Who was the family that lived here years and years ago? What was the family name that lived that lived here many years ago? things that we're not. Please post them. Because I we love going back and listening to them. How many of the original spirits are still here? This is the front door, guys. This is what the, has grown up over the years. Holy crap. So I want to ask you again, if that's okay, what, what was the name of the family that lived here years and years and years ago? Okay. 
What was the name of the family that lived here years and years and years ago? Is there any really powerful spirits here that can really make a a bang or a noise or move something like one of them drawers or something maybe? I know they're pretty heavy but but yeah, if you're willing to display your power it'd be great if something would move. We'd appreciate it. We'd be much obliged. It's the old bathroom. Toilet pool there. There's something here. There's something here. Are there any spirits in here? If so, how many? Two, two, like a whisper. Three. Three. Can you give, uh, will you give us your name? Uh, <coughs> Dean. Upstairs, that was uh, that I heard moving around. Fred, Fred or Greg? I heard Fred. Is Fred still here? Uh, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting touched on the neck. I thought it was a bug. Yeah, I heard that. See if I can. Yeah, something. I thought it was a bug. Well, Fred, do you want to come down and talk with us? That's all we do. We don't mean no harm. We just want to communicate, talk, and maybe chew the fat a little. It's probably been a long time since somebody's want to uh, stop by and have a chat. Well, that's why we're here. It's completely up to you. But it would be great if we uh, had some validation of the afterlife. Could you move any of that rubble over there? Let's see how far I can get over there with them. You have the power to give. Any scrapes, scratches on the walls, on the tin? So the little girl that's here too? Burn. Horses. There used to be horses on this property. Did you enjoy the horses that used to be here? What were the horses' names? We're animal lovers too. We love horses. 
We love all animals. Even that little mouse that's in the wall over there. This up, so we can up the steps and come down to the view for a minute. I don't know if they hear it. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is um, I'm going to take my camera up, I'm going to set it at the top of the steps, and it's getting a little dark up there, so I'll put it in night vision mode. And I'm just going to walk away from it for a minute and see if anything happens while we're away. They'll still hear us, but we won't be in the view of the camera. Okay, let's turn on, turn that off. Anything you'd like to tell our listeners or even family members that might be watching video for it? And night vision. Let me... Put on a diffuser, guys, so it's not quite as harsh. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, I got night vision on. It's definitely getting dark up here. All right. I'm going to set that. Try not to get. Try not to get glare. Let me set it properly if I can. What? Uh, come out, did it? Okay. That scared me too. Okay, guys, I'm going to walk down the steps now. Leave that there for a minute. Feel free to show yourself upstairs. You won't scare us. We're, we actually, this is what we do all the time. Brother and I have to leave soon, so it will 
would be great if you could uh, communicate with us just for a moment before we take off. Okay, I'm coming to get the camera. Yeah, it gets spooky off here in the dark. Okay, guys. Um, I only want to leave it for a few minutes just because uh, if something happens where we are, we don't want to. Um, we don't want you guys to miss it. And if something did happen up there, up here while the camera was up here, and I don't catch it. Please, if you can, point it out for us. I'll look at it later. Okay, I'm going to switch night vision off. Oops. Okay, night vision is off. Turn the night vision light off. And... That back now, I don't know if that's... Oops. There. I heard my name like two or three times there just now in a row. I heard Dave, I heard Yeah. So you guys know me? You got, or know my name? Obviously. What's my What's my brother's name? Him right there. You said it earlier. Can you say it again? I just heard. The, I just heard the thump. A little faint one. A little faint thump. Can you make that noise again? Yeah, I heard it uh, once or twice too. Well, we're gonna take off soon, uh, you guys. So, if there's anything you'd like to do or say before we go, that that would be great. And for you guys that have been asking about the app we use, it is called the Necrophonic. We're not sponsored in any way by them, but uh, we do really enjoy this app. It's the one we use the most. What? I know. I felt it in my feet. As soon as I heard that, I slowed down. All right, well, I think we've done all we can do here. Okay, guys, we're what? Yeah. Guys, we're getting ready to shut this machine off. Last chance. Say anything that you want to say.
thank you for allowing us to come into your house. We hope you enjoy your view of the sea for many, 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 many years to come. All right, guys, we're going to call it a night. Um, hopefully we captured some stuff. I won't know until I look back at it. Uh, this is a much shorter video. As you see, we uh, didn't have a whole lot of, it was just pretty much open space, but um, open spaces can be haunted too. So we wanted to bring this to you. Anyway, um, hopefully you guys catch something. Hopefully we caught something upstairs. We only hit the shadows for a couple minutes, but maybe something happened while we were down here. And uh, once again, thanks everybody. Um, give us a like. I don't usually ask for that, but give us a like. Um, if you like the video, thanks to all the support. We had some great comments, nothing but positive feedback. Thank you guys so much for that. You are our true brood. And uh, yeah, so until the next one, guys. Get your hand on.